Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Speech to Play's Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we tried escorting Emron the Exalt to safety, only to be barraged by Plagan forces who had been notified by that notified of her going there by a spy in our midst, and she then returned to Elistal to solidify the morale of the troops while we went up to Get, get some support from Ferox. However, we have found that Listol has fallen and Emron is to be executed, so we would be heading over to Plagia to try and rescue her, but for now we're gonna take a break and do the side story, so there are no, there are no, no new support. I did fight an overworld enemy, so yeah, there are a couple of changes with levels, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, nothing else needs to be said there, so let's head right in to the next side story. Slide story three, a strangled peace. Let's see what happens here in this delightful little peaceful town. Peaceful village as it's called. My lord. Lord Luke, risen. <clears throat> uh, and there's a village just ahead. Come on. <laughs> help, help, open the gates. The dead walk the earth. If you've any kindness in you, open the gates. We are from Woodham, up the road. You know us, please open the... God, no, no, they're here. Ah! Hmm. Townsfolk of this village are known for their hospitality. How could they turn away refugees fearing for their lives? <clears throat> Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. Okay, so what, what have we got here? Oh god, we are surrounded as fuck. There's over here. Chief, okay. Look at all these Pegasi knights. So he's got lances, bows, swords. There's two axe wielders and some swords and lances. The knights is over here. And they reach, okay, so. Not sure what we should be prioritizing, but. Okay, so. Select units. I have to have Chrom with me. And then Smee is here as well. So let's see. Is there anyone else I want to I want to bring as well? Maybe we could get some of the underlevel people involved. Donald could work. So hmm. I'm trying to think who I should drop. I can't drop Chrom. Then I'll bring Smee as well. So. Yes, Panay and Longku can drop out. Hmm, and then we can get Vake. And, uh. Who else? I guess Donald. That worked out fine. Eh. Yeah. That should work out. Let's view the map. Let's see how we should do this. Okay, so I'm assuming if these guys are in threat, then I think these knights will have to be the first ones to go because they're in, okay. Or who's in range of them? You can hit them. So I'm going to do top priority. So I'm just going to move that there. This is a sword. So. Figure out the best way to do this. Okay, so. Oof. So. It's like Pokemon. I'm just, I'm just like, trying to remember all the type matchups. Any that should do. Let's fight. Let's go. Around the enemy. There's a town there. So, can we. No, I can't quite reach it, but I'll fly over there and, uh, I'll fly over there and guess I've crumb wait there so we can go there next turn. So then we take out one of these knights here, so then pair up. Wouldn't quite take him out, but should be fine. Let's go here and fight. I mean, 
mean, a tunnel contributor, that would be excellent, but I guess not. I guess we should go really with stall and have this axe taken care of. Oh, got fine. Maybe it, do I have the hitbox? I don't forget if I had the hitbox. Or not. Yep, get on, you two. Cordelia almost got a level up. It would have been great if she did, but oh well. Okay, so. Hmm, how should this go? It's a sword up there, so. Reach that. So I guess Maribel can go with Sully, and then we can run out there and take out that sword. Yeah. Come out there and take out that sword. Oh, good. I'm good on you. This is. Seems fairly standard so far, and I guess less I can go with Gaius. Yeah, maybe I should have had that on beforehand, so go here, wait in a free spot, and see what happens. Yep, oh god, they're going to attack. You'll survive. Let's get her done. Oh, Mike, you got this. Okay. Got the advantage anyway. There goes Stalt. I guess we should let the side characters do the side story. Uh oh. He's gonna throw, but. They'll be fine. Hmm. So. Crumbs can go in and visit. Shepherds are always welcome here. Please take this with you. Listen, listen. There are refugees here, and you turn them away. Why? We're a peaceful town, sir. We have no weapons, nor anything you want for them. We survive by barring our gates to those who might bring us harm, friend or foe. Harsh as it may be, I can't have my people dying on account of other folks' problems. <clears throat> Got a blessed bow, but I'll send that to the convoy for now. I can come over here, switch in Cordelia, and that'll be fine. Careful now. Let me out. There you go. Boom, and done. As it must be. Okay. That's good. Got some good things going. Wait, there was an archer over there, wasn't there? Oh, did someone lose this? Perhaps I might deliver it. I didn't think that out. I didn't think that move out. I didn't think. I didn't think far ahead enough. Well. Mm, I might be right fucked. I might just be right fucked. Hmm. Let's have you come back over here. Mm, I love it when I make mistakes. Mistakes that could have been easily avoided if I had some thought process. Because mm -hmm, mm, I'm a smirt, I'm a smirty pants. That's, that's, that's all I'll ever be. And guys can run over here and. Because he can cover more ground, I'm pretty sure, so. I mean, he will get a hit on me. Will he get a hit on me? Yes, he will. Uh, what about Donald? Could he one shot? Nah, he'd get hit either way. Both gonna get hit, but pretty sure Donald can just one shot this guy. Yep, yeah, go ahead, Donald. I got Do it. All good. Like that, and as soon as this turns over, I'm pretty sure Cordelia is gonna die. I'm sure Cordelia is gonna die because of my poor planning. Oh, good. 
Cordelia, are you gonna die? We can handle this. Almost died. Ally face. The fuck are you guys doing? Honestly, what the fuck are you guys doing? You're making my job harder. Thank you for making my job this much harder. Jesus Christ, why are you moving this way? Right where the enemies are. I'm just like befuddled right now. F fucking hell the fuck. <laughs> Stop moving towards the enemies. Right, they're fucking encircled. I can't even... Fucking reach them. It's fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm saying fucking love. I'm just like, these guys are such idiots. Let's just see here. What's the best strategy? How about... Gaius, you run over here and deal with this guy. There we go. All sorted there. And guys, just level up. Great. Guess we can move over and this, and we're gonna switch because Cordelia's in a lot of damage. And did I not look? And is that guy in front of... Guy over here... Good against... Hmm, yep. Okay, but he can't reach me. These guys are just... Uh. See, I'm in danger from the archer, so... I'll go ahead and... Do the archer. Oh, good. Hey. Oh, she's got level A. Great. This Pegasus Knight still in range. Let's switch the bike into the front and yeah, comes to me. I have to do something. You guys start coming this way and. Let me just have a quick check, like, what else we got here? We got swords and axes. Well, the sword is closer, so I'll switch Simi into the front. Oh, God. I'm trying my best. I can't reach them. I'll go right over here. So I switch the bike into the front. So you just one shot. Class dismissed. Get on, you get that level up. Now, y'all level up. No, it's good charisma. Dude, seriously. I guess I'm not out of range of that. But you're in range of that bastard. Dude, it's fucking... What? Stop being... God damn it. I'm trying to save you. Can you guys not be idiots? Seriously, I'm like actually annoyed right now. Over how dumb these guys are. Like, seriously, they're gonna fucking die, because I can't fucking do anything. And they're in that spot there, so I guess, theoretically, I could... ...go for Operation Human Shield. In fact, I can't, because I can't reach them. I can't go for Operation Human Shield. I wish I could go for Operation Human Shield right now, but it's not gonna work. Let's just, uh, see how this goes. Can Samia take, take him out without too much trouble? I think I have 36. Is it Yeah, Samia can take him. Come on. And miss. And down. I'm, tr I'm try I try my best to protect these goddamn villagers, but they keep walking closer to danger. I'm guessing if they die, then I lose. And if that's the fucking case, I'm gonna be really pissed off. I mean, seriously, I will be sincerely pissed off. 
Because I can't do anything. Okay, so these Pegasi riders are the one who's going to be targeting them, so can I... I could bring them over and switch and heal them. I can heal one of them. So... I can heal one. Guess that's the best it's going to have to do for now. That'll have to do for now. I'm trying to think straight here. I, this is just... I'm like annoyed right now. Honestly annoyed because I'm like, I'm trying to save these villagers, but I can't. I, I basically can't. There's... I can maybe save one. Wait, well, he can't reach that guy. So one's going to go down. Maybe I can focus on focus on that. Then um, I can worry about the Risen, the Risen later. So wait, then... These guys can move down here to offer moral support, I guess. Yeah, this guy's going down. Sorry about that. There's, n there's really nothing I can do. I'm 100% honest, there's like nothing I can do. Oh, this villager's dead. Fucking... I can maybe save one. Yep. Now attack. What are you doing? Are you this stupid? Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm just... What? What are you doing? Okay, how about you switch? Cordelia, you can go and take out this Risen. Take out this Risen. Take out this Risen, get the experience. Then I can switch to Lissa and heal you. And switch, staff. I can go ahead and use adjacent because we're gonna have to be adjacent because we can okay staff. I'll use a mend on you so you can be all good. Okay, she got a level C. Okay. Okay, at least if I can take out these two Pegasi riders, I'll be fine and dandy. So. I'm just gonna fly over here and attack. Yeah, this will be fine. And attack. And done. And then Chrome go up to B. And Vake can run up and kill. Uh, I only have one use the iron next left. I'll just use it. No point. Oh, sorted. And then the axe is gonna break, but I have another axe. I have another axe. That's fine. And I guess while we're at it, Maribel, why don't you go and heal this villager so we can say we could have one out of three? That's thirty-three percent. Is is that enough to pass? I mean, like it. I mean, like it's enough to pass VC. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God! You are so dumb! What the hell? Seriously? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Jesus fucking... What the... Are you this dumb? Not to me gonna fucking encircle him just to protect him. You cannot be this dumb! 
Seriously. My mind is like being fucking blown right now. This is just like, what, what the absolute fuck? I am speechless about how dumb this guy is. You cannot possibly be fucking dumber. Fucking hell. is not going to take him out. All I can do is this. Just hopefully try and not let him die. Because I'm assuming I got to protect these guys. Come on, take him down, please. So close. That's like the only thing I can do. Like, fucking seriously. Seth, can you heal him? Please mm -hmm. tell, tell me you can survive. No. Do I fail the mission? No, I don't. But fucking seriously, that was not my fault. I was. You fucking saw me. I was trying my goddamn best. How can he be so dumb? How? I'm. I'm dumbfounded at this stupidity. How could you be so. What the fuck? I was doing my best. He kept running towards the enemies. Like, I'm like legitimately pissed off because it's like maybe there was something I could have done, but it didn't it really didn't feel like I could have done anything. Like honestly it feels like there was nothing I could do. I guess this guy with the lance is coming up, so Eh. You can just go ahead and uh Just wait here and see what we get. Hey, what are your dreams for the future? Sometimes I feel like life has no direction. I enjoyed the blueprint to a gingerbread house once. I just say that out loud. Yeah, they got an improved relationship. Okay, so you guys can move close and then switch in Chrome. And he can just... He can just kill this falcon. Let's go. Get. Okay. Let's just uh move them a little closer then closer to staff. You can uh yeah, you can use mend, you got another one. Yeah, thanks. Go on you Maribel, it'll level up. Okay. <clears throat> Demisil. Yeah. Man broke. I'm fine. I'm I'm aware. So I'm gonna need an X. Hmm, so I'm gonna feel I'm gonna have to move out of the way for this guy, so just thinking like who do I wanna who do I want to get the experience? Because the lances are even with him. Yes, first we'll move these guys back forward. Now let's see here. So we'll just move everyone back so we can just surround them. I guess, uh, wait. 
Right there. Be ready to utterly surround them. Like, what would this do? I'm bringing down a one hit point, so. And Sully can't get through, and actually, no one else can attack. So, um. Hmm. How should this go? So, I probably should move around here so we can get a nice little fun time situation going on. Ah, just thinking how this should go, so... So, just move them around here. I just want to see if I can do a, if I can do a thing. It's uh, well, this is done because I would, I would just like the idea of Cordelia getting that experience, personally, because I think she's the lowest membered one that I'm kind of interested in. It's okay, so. Let's um, switch, staff, heal, Cordelia. Thank you. Then Cordelia run in and attack. We got anything better? Nope, this is better. Bag. Okay. Careful. Come on, we can do this, come on. I mean, if Stahl felt like helping out, that would do well as well. So now, I can run up and heal, and then she'll be able to survive. And unless it gets level up as well. Yeah! Excellent. She got heal touch, I think that was. Or rather, it would just heal itself. And this did not go as well as I planned. Well... I tried to use some six strats, and it didn't work out for me. Okay, so... I guess we can... Really, I... That hadn't happened for a couple episodes, so I was hoping that I'd finally got my shit together, but apparently I don't have my shit together. Okay, so... Stall would be a horrible switch in. Just curious, if I were to switch in Gaius. It's very likely that he'll die. Okay, so. I guess we could go for a. Uh... Yes, we could go for a thing. Oh, but I can't heal Gaius because Lissa's out front. Yes. Vake can move in. Just sit there and then switch just in case she has a chance to help later. I probably should have done that earlier. Let's do this, come on. Need a hand? Oh! And he actually missed! Hmm, so what level is Gaius again? He's 11. Nah, I'd rather Cordelia get it. Unless he has another heal up his anus. He has another heal up his anus! <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I should have checked to see if he actually had anything. Fucking. Find Cordelia, run up, and you would take some. You would, you would take some serious damage from that, but you would survive. Let's look at the full thing. And Chrome could assist. 
it's likely that Chrome would assist. Yes, while we're here. Eh, quick kill on Samia. Then Samia can rush in and do it. And if she gets the... And if she gets some... Ex gets the experience, oh well. Just do it this way. Let's go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, she gets the crit. Okay. Well. Oh well. I want Cordelia to get about. Oh well, I guess Samia's good with it as well. Hmm. That worked out well. We got an elixir. Alright. I filled them. I let them die. My lord. No, my lord. You gave all that you had. That is no failure. And we can still give them peace. They deserve a proper burial. Gods! They deserve to live, Friedrich! Ah, damn it all. Okay, I don't know if this has some repercussions later. Hopefully I didn't have any repercussions. Let's see if we have anything new in support. Oh, we got a couple. So we got, uh... Solon, Cordelia, and Lissa and Gaius. Let's see what Lissa and Gaius have to say. Now this goes through here. Then I just loop this thread and... Youch! Hey. You alright there, princess? What's going on? I'm trying to learn needlework. But I'm mostly just poking holes in my dumb finger. You should wash and dress those wounds, you know. Huh? Yeah, whatever. They're just pinpricks. See? Hardly bleeding at all. <sighs> Small ones can become infected as easy as large ones. Here, princess. Let me take a look. She's fine. If you're gonna be all stubborn about it. Just stop calling me princess, all right? You always sound sarcastic when you say it. Nope. Just a friendly nickname is all. Give them to everyone. Hey. Yeah, well, I bet you didn't give Chrome a nickname, did you? It's so unfair. He risks life and limb nearly every day, but me? No. People hover around me if I have so much as a sewing accident. <sighs> it makes you feel better. This is the worst sewing accident I've ever seen. <laughs> God, you think I was made of glass or something? Hey, and easy with the bandages there. My hand looks like a grapefruit. Huh? You pierced a vein, princess. Lucky it wasn't worse. Do we have to? Oh, cheer up now. Let me see what you're sewing there. Oh, it's, uh, it looks like a three-legged ogre? No, wait, a whalefish is eating a sailor? Huh? It's a kitty cat. A cat? Really? Uh, maybe if I turn it this way. It's not done yet, okay? Right. Hmm, for a cat. Why don't you lengthen this, then a few stitches here. Huh? Holy cow, guys, that's amazing! I didn't know you could sew. Yep. I've always had nimble fingers. Useful skill in my trade. Hey, thanks! Well, um, thanks, I guess. My pleasure. Though perhaps you might take up a safer hobby, hmm? Like, say, jousting? Ah, that was, that was cute. Now, uh, let's see what Stahl and Cordelia have to say to one another. Huh? Hello, Stahl. Hey. I was drawn here by the sound of sweet music. Was it you playing? Yes. You're kind to say so, but in truth, I'm quite out of practice. No. What? No, you play beautifully, and one of my favorite Elysian folk songs to boot. Right. It's been so long since last I played. When I saw this harp at the local market, I just couldn't resist. So, uh, I remember how you in, in, I remember how you entranced the core by playing at Crumb's birthday ceremony. Those were some good times. Say, what? Why don't you put on an encore of performance? It'd be huge for morale. Well. Oh, that court concert was a long time ago. How do you even remember the music? Although I suppose I could muddle through it if I had the score in front of me. Hmm? Wait, you were just playing from memory? That's even more impressive. <sighs> Please, Stall. I'm serious. Stop fl. <sighs> Must you be a fussy little shit? I didn't even touch the goddamn cable. Please, Stahl, I'm serious. Stop trying to falter, flatter me. Compared to Fila, I'm just a clumsy amateur. Hmm. Well, sure, but Fila was the best I've seen. She could have joined the Royal Orchestra. Yes. I always dreamed that one day I might be as skilled as her. It's silly, I know. Nah. Hey, never say never. Especially when you're so uh, abundantly talented. <laughs> Stop it, seriously. See, now I'm just getting embarrassed. Uh, oh, hey, would you look at that? It's your time. Gotta go. <sighs> and Cordelia. She's never satisfied with being second best at anything. I'm going to have to sell up my game if I ever hope to compete with that. And there we go. Got another one. Well, okay now. Guess we should probably head here so that next time on Speedster Place Fire Emblem Awakening, we're actually going to do something that contributes to the plot, because we're going to head over here and see if we can set about rescuing Emerin. See you guys all then. <laughs>